Welcome, Mink. Does me. Don't know if you guys can tell, but it is hot and it is humid, which means I am in Orlando for my Disney World vacation. And I'm gonna be staying at the Marriott Village Orlando, which is actually three different hotels, all within the same little area, all around this super cute fountain. I'm excited to stay here specifically because they are Disney Good Neighbor hotels. So Marriott is hooking it up so I can check out all three of these resorts and let you guys know to help plan your next Walt Disney World vacation about all of your options here. What's cool about all three of these hotels being right next to each other is that the guests in each hotel can share all the amenities. So each hotel has its own pool and no matter which of these resorts you're staying in, you can visit any of the pools you want. Also, because it's a Disney Good Neighbor hotel, that means there's a free Disney park shuttle. So you don't have to worry if you're not running a car, you get free transportation to and from the parks. But I see a playground over here, let's check that out. I'm just kind of now like exploring, getting my bearings. I haven't even seen all the cool stuff yet. We got a cute little courtyard here. This is a pretty rad and kind of intense looking playground. Since it wasn't raining, I wanted to quickly come and check out the pool here at the Spring Hill Suites side. And it looks pretty fun. There is a zero entry, which is always nice. There's a really cool kind of like splash park. A little for little ones. Actually, it feels really good if I didn't have my camera with me right now. I love all the little baby palm trees here, but uh, guys, I love the zero entry. This is super fun. I can't wait to check in. The reviews have said that the breakfast is amazing. And you know, as I like to eat, I think you can get Mickey waffles here, which is pretty cool to get Mickey waffles outside of the park. Stay tuned. You can check out all three of these resorts with me and let's hope for a great vacation. Spring Hill Suites, first hotel. I'm at Spring Hill Suites for three nights. Have you ever stayed with us before? No. Okay, so I'll give you a little rundown. Right behind you is gonna be the breakfast area. It's complimentary, 6.30 to 9.30. Wi-Fi is also free here. And are you a park in a car? Yes. Okay, so let me get the park. Looks like I'm moving in. This room is big. It is very big. So it's, oh, we have a desk, a little office area, cool. A kitchenette, ooh, good to know. There's a microwave, love it. A mini fridge, great. Coffee, great. Ooh, a nice big bathroom too. The one I appreciate is any hotel that has the sink separate from like the bathtub area because it makes getting ready a lot easier, especially when you have multiple people. Oh yeah. And we can see, it's fun. You can actually see the Courtyard Marriott. This is a huge pull-out sofa. So even though you can sleep two people per bed there, there's like a the queen size pull-out sofa. So you can get settled in. And your breakfast in the morning. Breakfast. I heard there's Nike waffles. I'm really glad we're here for a few days and have so much space because my sister lives here now. <laughs> I just gotta say, I appreciate any mirror that has such a beautiful, even lighting. We got in so late last night, I didn't even really look around at the lobby. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good day. This is like a huge breakfast area. Holy cow. Some muffins. Yes, oatmeal, all the toppings. <laughs> oh, this is a no joke breakfast. Hot breakfast, so many juices. Ooh, I need a plate. Um, this is the craziest breakfast bar that I've ever seen in a hotel ever. And I can't believe it's included with your stay, which is amazing. Um, I could not get all the things I wanted. I loaded up on my oatmeal, brown sugar, some uh, cranberries, raisins, walnuts. I can't believe I can put Nutella on my banana and biscuits and gravy, but I have to go back because there's eggs. Now I'll just take my coffee, super hot. And oh, oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. 
Game changer. Wait, I need to, let me redo my coffee. Breakfast number two at Spring Hill Sweets, and I completely forgot that I was gonna show you my Mickey waffle. And that started eating them. But they have a waffle machine, so you can make a big Mickey, or you can make four little Mickeys. Mm. I want one of these at home. Can you buy these? It's so our last night in my Mickey jammies. And it's been a pretty comfy stay. We've had plenty of room, like I've said. Matt's currently watching TV in the other room, which is nice because me and my sister are about to watch TV in the main area. One hotel down, two more to go. Good night. <sighs> pretty late, have had a full day. Now I'm gonna go check in to Fairfield. Very different vibe in the lobby. Thank you. Thanks. What? We can watch Brave in the courtyard. I passed the room. <laughs> Hotel number two. Fairfield Inn. A little different layout. Looks like the bathroom is up here in the front. Ooh, yeah, yeah, cool. It smells so clean. <laughs> Where are the lights? Oh, this is a very different setup, but it's nice. I like all the wood. So still have double beds, nice. No living area with the couch, but we don't need it because we just have three people but a very different kind of aesthetic in here. I'm very into the wood. Ooh, we have a pool view. I think it's a swim in the Spring Hill pool, so we'll check out this one. You can see like a little splash park down here too. You see it? For the little kids. Another long day. Can't wait to test out these beds. They're probably the same, but it doesn't mean that I'm not tired. Good morning. We can see our view a little bit more now. The beds feel like they slept the same. They are doubles, again, not queens, but the pillows here are a little bit squishier, which I like. Also, and this is such a small thing, but the nightstand has like a double shelf here, which keeps it really handy when you have to charge a bunch of stuff overnight. We have another microwave and refrigerator, which we have stocked with water. But it's time for breakfast, time for more breakfast. A lot of feeding again in here for breakfast. Here we go, we got turkey sausage. Ooh, biscuits and gravy. And some eggs, yes. I did put some cheese on my eggs, so that would be nice. We'll say the selection is pretty similar to Spring Hill, but it's definitely less things. Like the scones aren't over here. Um, I think the only fruit is like bananas, and in Spring Hill they have like bananas and oranges and strawberries and melons. But there's still enough here, I think, for everybody to get something that they're happy with. And this is our fourth breakfast so far on property, and I've had something different every day. Just got back to the room. There's Jesse, there's Matt, everybody's really tired. It's not even dark out yet, but we figured we would try the in-room delivery menu because for one, I'm actually really curious. Second of all, I don't feel like leaving the hotel to get food again. So I'm gonna get my jammies, but I don't know what I wanna eat. So you can get like fancy coffee drinks, that's exciting, or muffins. But we are gonna get something from Connections from the Grill. What we got? Some burgers, street tacos, quesadilla, nachos, wings, loaded waffle fries. We get the pepper jack chicken sandwich. Lettuce, tomato, onions, okay? Yes. Our food's here. That's me, I got a buffalo chicken sandwich. So I think the options that are on the delivery, like room delivery menu or the same things from the cafe. Always nice to have room service that isn't like insanely expensive. Like I think the sandwich was $10. If we were to go out somewhere, we would be paying $10 for dinner anyway. 
There was a 20% service charge like already included. Oh, then all the fries, please. Still at Fairfield Inn, and I noticed this at Spring Hill Suites, but I didn't show you guys. But they also have laundry, which I know some people, if you're worried about space and weight and can't pack a lot of stuff, you'll be able to do your laundry on site. It is like 9.30ish, and we just got back, but I wanted to go see if I could figure out what was going on in the courtyard where they were showing Rave. I also feel like I'm cheating going into this hotel soon because I don't check in here till tomorrow. Ooh. Village Hoppy. Whoa. <gasps> oh my gosh, when you walk in a room and they're just playing La Luna. So fun. So this must be where they show the movies on the weekends. And then they have like some fun yard games in here. Just Disney stuff everywhere. This room's especially cool for when it's like raining at night and maybe the kids like can't go to the pool. Checking out <coughs> uh, Fairfield Inn to go to Courtyard. It's like 7.30. Nah, maybe eight now. I don't think our room will be ready, but we'll see. It's crazy that it's so early in the morning and they already have a room ready for us to go check in so we don't have to put our bags in storage and we got our keys so even though we were at Fairfield and then we were checking in a courtyard they can just like go past the front desk and go straight to the room that is pretty convenient so I was in here yesterday checking out the movie theater setup but making it to the room today you can print out your boarding passes here Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Check out the room. Ooh. This is much bigger. Oh, it's beautiful. It's supposed to have a pool view, the balcony. Ooh. This is a really big balcony. Oh, then our view of the pool is so nice. And so the courtyard has an outdoor and an indoor pool with a waterfall in between them. See the hot tub. This looks like a generally like bigger pool area. And the doubles are queen size beds. Queen beds. But this whole setup is really nice. You can tell that it's brand new. Beautiful murals. Then the bathroom is set up in the front like the other hotel. Yeah, so not super different layout, but the room itself is a lot bigger because we have a much bigger seating area here, which is nice. Can't get over the furniture, the color. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. But we got to get to the park. Guys, let's get to the park. Why? We just got back. <laughs> Jesse's wondering why you need this fancy chair in a hotel room. Didn't notice earlier, so I didn't point it out. But these rooms, like, Surprise. at Spring Hill um, and Fair Fairfield have a microwave and a little mini fridge. You guys, everyone is sleepy and delirious. There they go. I do want to look at the bathroom because there is this giant closet space with another full length mirror. That's cool. So all of the amenities in the rooms all seem the same. Like everybody's got a mini fridge. Everybody has a microwave. Everybody has like a separate sink with the same like beautiful vanity lighting, which I already said I appreciated. Um, and then yeah, we've had doubles, but the biggest difference is that these doubles are queens instead of full size, so it gives you a little bit more room. But the courtyard doesn't have a continental breakfast for free, like at Spring Hill and Fairfield Inn. It's like a, it's like a fancier paid for breakfast that's like 19 an adult. But two nights here to finish off this Walt Disney World slash Orlando vacation 
and it's like midnight. It's time to call it a day. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. No. Time to get ready. No. <laughs> I'm going to go downstairs because I'm going to figure out all the information for the free Disney shuttle. So being a good Disney neighbor hotel means that these hotels offer free shuttles to and from the parks. I went to the front desk and picked up the schedule. So this schedule was good for the entire month of May. So you can see here that you need to reserve your space on the free shuttle at least an hour prior to the departure time. So this won't take you directly to different theme parks at Walt Disney World Resort, but it will take you to the TTC or the Ticket and Transportation Center. That's where if you're familiar with Magic Kingdom, you'll be able to get the ferry or the monorail directly to Magic Kingdom, or you'll be able to take buses over to Epcot, Hollywood Studios, or Animal Kingdom. And then the return times are at 6, 7.45 and 10.25 p.m. My experience with the free Disney shuttles is I would highly recommend reserving your spot the night before you plan on leaving. And I did see that they offer a few shuttles to like SeaWorld and a few other destinations throughout Orlando, but those you have to pay for. So keep that in mind if you're trying to go just outside of Walt Disney World Resorts, so there's still shuttles available. Just know that you're gonna be paying per person for those two. Last night in Courtyard Marriott, I wish we had more time to spend in this room because I think out of all three of them, this room has been my favorite and it was the room that we spent the least amount of time in because they were Magic Kingdom days and we were there till like, what, 11.30 tonight? I'm going to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning, I guess. Checking out this morning. I think this has been my favorite one as far as the vibe of like the whole room, but I think the Spring Hill takes the cake when it comes to having that living room area with the extra TV and the pull-out couch. Not that we needed it, but having the space to spread out was nice for a longer time. And their breakfast, I think, is the best for sure. But all of them have free Wi-Fi. All of them have like coffee makers in the room and you get to like share the pools and stuff anyway. So they're all pretty equally great. Just checked out of the Marriott, hanging out at the Bistro down here. But this entire week has been so good. All three of these hotels are amazing. This made our stay so, so nice. We were in such a good location. There's free shuttles to the park, but if you want to drive, you can get to like any Walt Disney World Park in like 10 minutes. You can still get your Starbucks fix, which is always nice. An amazing gym. I honestly think this is an amazing option if you want to stay off property for your next Walt Disney World vacation because you get the free shuttles you get a little bit of Disney magic with those Mickey waffles which you know that I'm like truly obsessed with check out pricing dates availability all of that fun stuff there will be a link down below in the description give this video a thumbs up if you can't wait to return to the Walt Disney Resort or if you're coming for the first time and let me know if you stayed here because I've been posting on Instagram and a lot of you guys are like oh like I just stayed there a week ago um, it's a really solid choice, a really great hotel. I would definitely love to stay here again next time I come back to visit Orlando. And let me know if you want me to do a few more of these because I would love to stay at all of these good Disney neighbor hotels and let you guys know what I think about them and help you plan your vacations better. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.